What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got some huge, huge news in the world of Persona, and that is the official announcement of Persona 5 Scramble, or as they're going to call it in the US, Persona 5 Strikers. Persona 5 Strikers is going to be available on PS4, PC, and Switch with a release date of February 23rd, and pre orders are going to open up on December 10th. Now, for you Switch owners, I want to make a special shout out and let y'all know that there is going to be a special, exclusive Steelbook edition of this game. It's only going to be available on Switch, so if you want that version, make sure you are online and ready to go when pre-orders open because you know like I do that that thing is going to fly off the shelves. As far as the PS4 and PC, there's going to be a digital deluxe edition, which is going to include an art book. A soundtrack for the game is going to include behind the scenes music videos for two songs. Those are You Are Strong and Toward a Dream. And what I think is super cool is going to come with legacy music. I assume this is going to be able to be played throughout the normal course of Strikers. And it's going to include music from every single mainline Persona game. That includes 1 and 2, 1 and 2 remakes on PSP, Eternal Punishment and Innocent Sin, the PlayStation versions, 4, 4 Golden, and 5. Every mainline Persona is going to have music in this game. It's going to be amazing. Now, as far as the gameplay itself, while it is a sequel to Persona 5, this is not a Japanese RPG. It's actually a Musou style game. And if you're unfamiliar with what that is, that's gonna be your games like Dynasty Warriors or the recently released Legend of Zelda Age of Calamity on Switch. The same exact type of game with a little bit of Persona 5 sprinkled in. So you'll be able to do the Proton Pass which is how you're going to be able to switch characters and all the Phantom Thieves are going to be playable. And they said that you're still going to be able to pause the game and set up strategies and ways to defeat these enemies, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. As far as the story goes, what we know right now is that obviously this takes place after Persona 5 and the Phantom Thieves are trying to take a vacation after school is over and all the events of Persona 5 are done, but as we all know, there's no rest for the wicked, so there's no rest for our heroes. So they're right back into action, trying to save the day again. So like I said, I'll figure out what all that really is once I get my hands on the game. I don't expect anything as deep as Persona 5, considering what this is. They did the same thing with Persona 4 with Persona 4 Arena, a full-blown fighting game with a competitive scene for their sequel to Persona 4. And while fun, that story wasn't really deep. So I kind of expect the same thing here. Not the most enriching story, but good enough to keep you hooked and good enough to make you wonder how it's gonna end. Now with that being said, let's get to what is on my mind right now and that is the fact that strikers is coming out on p oh, i'm sorry strikers is coming out on pc and switch so as you know persona 5 vanilla only came out on ps3 and ps4 and persona 5 royal is only available on ps4 but the sequel is coming out on pc and switch which has me wondering, hoping, and wishing in all those words that there's going to be a Persona 5 Royal port for PC and Switch. Now, as far as PC goes, Persona 4 Golden was released earlier this year and they Atlas did Atlas and Sega did a wonderful job with that game. You had difficulty options, graphic options, all the PC stuff. And that game sold well beyond Atlas's and Sega's expectations to the point where they already said that they want to reach into more of their catalog and port games over the PC. So I'm hoping Persona 3, Persona 1 and 2, all those things. But what is really, really, really on my heart is a Switch version. 
Now granted, we do know since it is the Switch, the game is gonna have to be scaled back a bit, but I'm willing to bet that's something that A, Switch owners are aware of, and B, Switch owners do not care about. Because I myself, if I was confronted with the choice of, ooh, am I gonna get Royal on PS, or I'm sorry, PC or Switch, I'm getting it on Switch. You can't beat portable JRPGs. But yeah, like I said, guys, not a lot of news now. The announcement was just made today. Persona 4 or Persona 5 Strikers, PC, PS4, Switch on February 23rd with pre-orders opening on December 10th. And we'll just sit back and wait for more news. And as that news comes, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. If you enjoyed this video, if it was informative to you in any way, please like and subscribe and check out the rest of my content. I appreciate your support as always, and I will see you guys later. Peace.